Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-innovation.com. Today in this lecture, we are going to talk about wait until function. Okay. So in the previous lectures, we have seen uh, videos for wait for displayed, and we have also discussed wait for enable, right? But today we are going to talk about another function called wait until. Now you can ask this question that why do we need this? Because we have all anyways wait for clickable, wait for displayed, wait for enable. Then why do we need wait until? So basically, whenever you have to write your own custom condition, okay, in that case, you can go with wait until. So if you just go through the official documentation, this is this wait command is your universal weapon. If you want to wait for something, so you can write your own condition and you can wait for that particular condition. If that condition is true, it will continue. If within that time period, it is not getting fulfilled, it will fail, obviously. Okay, so if you see the usage here, we can write here wait until we can write the condition. We can also provide the timeout that how much time you want to wait. If you want to give some timeout message that within this time frame, if this condition is not getting fulfilled, what message you want to display and the interval. Okay. So if you see the examples, this is in a sync mode, how you can use it. And this is how we will be using with async mode. So in future, we have to continue with async mode. So let's continue in this. And we will be using the same example, but I have created one scenario here. So let me talk about this scenario. So right now you can see I have a text here called click on try it and this random message. But the moment I click on start timer, you will see this text will change. So it's coming Selenium, it's coming QTP. But after a few seconds, a text will come, which is called web driver. Now I want to write one condition that keep on waiting until the text is not equal to web driver. Can you see this web driver is coming after some time. So I want to click on this timer and I will keep on waiting until this web driver is not coming. The moment we get web driver, we'll move to the next step. Okay. So let me refresh this and let's write the code for this. So I'm going to create again a separate file and I will give this wait until example it's going to be very easy if you are following my previous videos then you should be able to you know understand easily so i will start with describe and i'm going to write that wait until example okay now i need it block so i will write it and i will provide the name and i will say wait for text example Okay, and since we are going to async mode, so I will be using async here. Now you can write your code here. So the first thing I need is this URL. So I will just copy this URL. Okay, and let's write await browser dot URL. And I will pass this URL, which we want to automate. Next is I want to click on this timer button. So I will right click on this. I will click on inspect and let me write X path CSS or whatever locator you want to take. So as of now, I can see the text here. So I will write a quick X path that find a button which has a text equal to click me to start timer. So now I will be using dollar symbol again. So I will use await dollar symbol, which is basically a find element so this will return me one web element let me store this into a variable and i will say this is timer button now let's click on it so again i will be using await this timer button and i will say click the moment we click on it now this text will start changing okay so now if you just inspect this right now the text is click on try it and if you see the id is demo so basically i will take this id and i will write condition for this text i will wait for this text equal to web driver so right now i will take this id which is double slash p find id equal to demo okay you can see it's highlighting now i'm going to find this element again so i will use await dollar and let's pass this 
this will return me web element so i will say const and i will say this is my let's call this as element you can give any name i'm just giving web element or just element now i need to write the condition okay so again okay so now let's write the condition so i will use await again and element dot and let's write wait until as you can see wait until and we have seen the documentation just now that the moment you use wait until it is asking you give me a condition and these three additional arguments okay so when it comes to condition we are going to write one small function and we will wait for this particular text fine so i will just write here and let me write a function here okay so inside this i'm going to write async function again make sure you're using async because we are using async mode and i'm going to create a small function okay so what this function basically will check if the text is equal to web driver then return otherwise keep on waiting so in our case we are waiting for web driver okay so let's let the web driver come in the meanwhile we'll write here await and now i'm using this keyword fine and what exactly i'm doing i'm just going to capture the text and what exactly I'm expecting? The text should be equal to equal to equal to web driver. Okay, this is the text which I'm looking for. So if I go back here, let's copy from here so that there should not be any confusion. Yes. So basically once it is done, I'm going to return the same. So let me write return directly here. So once it is done, it will return this. Okay, so if you want to return the next statement, you can do that. But right now we are returning directly from here. So this keyword basically refers to this element. Okay, so from this element, it is going to capture the text. If it is equal to web driver, it will return. Otherwise, it will keep on waiting. Now we need to also provide the timeout, right? So if I come back here, we can provide these three additional arguments. Okay, so if you want, you can copy this or you can write one by one. So better if I copy this so that we should not have any mistake here. Make sure after the function put comma and just pass these three additional argument. Okay, so let me just write this one by one. So timeout I'm going that maximum time it should wait is let's say 20 seconds. So this is basically a timeout in milliseconds. So I'm giving 20,000 which is basically 20 seconds. Timeout message I will pass that if this text is not getting appeared within this time frame, I will just print text is not getting displayed. Okay, and what is the interval? Like how frequently you want to port? So right now I'm not giving any interval, so let it take the default interval. Now, ideally this will come after 15 seconds, okay? So I'm giving maximum time 20, so it will come obviously. So let's do one thing. Let's run this program first, or let me change it to 10 seconds, 10,000. And as we know, it will come after 15 seconds. So even after writing this condition, this will fail because the timeout will cross. So let's run this and see. So I will write npx webdriver io run we need to run webdriver io.config.js and I'm going to run a specific file. File name is wait until example.js. Okay, let's run this. So this is a negative scenario. Forcefully, we are giving less time and we'll see what whether it's printing this message or not. In the next example, I will give proper timeout. In that case, it should work. So execution one of work has started. And yes, here we go. Okay, so it says filled in Chrome. Just a second. Okay, 
just a second there's some small mistake which I did it should be colon not equal to okay yeah so let's run this again as you can see in the error okay it's pointing out that this not valid syntax unexpected token so I change it to colon and if I go back you will see it's colon here by mistake I have written equal to now let's run it again and let's verify the output Okay, so let's wait. Execution of work has started. Running in Chrome. And let's see. So it will click on a start timer. Okay, Selenium. QTP. And now it's still waiting for that web driver. Time we have given is 10 seconds. The moment this 10 seconds is getting over as you can see it failed now and can you see this it says text is not getting displayed so it failed because the maximum time was 10 seconds and it was coming after 15 so it failed and it is giving this proper text that we have written so it is actually waiting now let's change it to 20 seconds so it says smart wait when i say smart wait this is the maximum time so the moment we get web driver immediately it will move to the next statement so max is 20 but within this time frame if that element is available or this condition is satisfied it will continue to the next statement okay so let's run it again again execution of one work has started Yes, started. And just notice this text is changing now. And you will notice the moment we get web driver, this test will pass because now it is polling. Maximum time is 20, so let's wait. Okay, the moment we get web driver, and yes, it exited because now this element is available so it is moving to the next statement and it is closing the browser okay so i hope you got the clear idea so let me quickly uh, give you a recap so whenever you have to write your own custom condition you can use wait until you can pass your condition you can also pass the maximum time that you want to wait timeout message and interval in this example we have given the maximum timeout first 10 second and obviously it was failing because it takes 15 second to load that web driver in the second example we have given timeout 20 second and we noticed that it the moment we got web driver as a text it was closing our browser because the condition got satisfied okay so i have written only this condition but you can write any condition within this function because once your function is ready you write anything inside this function what we did in our case so we started the url we clicked on the button okay then we found the element inside this element we are capturing the text every time okay so this will keep on running until the text is not equal to web driver once we get the web driver within this time interval it will move to the next statement okay okay that's all for this video guys i hope you have learned something new from this video if yes then do support this channel share with your friends colleagues subscribe this channel and if you find any issue let me know in the comment section and i will see you in the next video have a nice day bye bye